Case expenses, things that you need to understand that you're going to be responsible for in the case. You're probably going to be responsible for some form of travel, whether it be mileage with an attorney or travel time for an attorney. Um, some attorneys, you have to pay very close attention to engagement letters because some attorneys will charge um, their hourly rate for travel time and then some attorneys will just charge mileage for that. It just depends on the specific attorney, but there's lots of options out there. There's no standard rule. In addition to the mileage and possible travel time expenses, um, attorneys will also ask clients to pay for parking. Um, they may ask clients to pay for uh, postage. And although I don't do this, I've heard <laughs> and seen that there are attorneys out there that charge for copies and staples and um, paper clips and all kinds of things that go along in their office. I don't see how they make money doing that, keeping track of all that, but they do. They, they, some of them keep track of that kind of stuff. Um, and then you also have to pay attention to the billing increments that the attorney is charging by. Um, I see in Cincinnati, generally, most attorneys will um, charge by 15 minute increments, which means basically if um, they're only spending three minutes on your case to return a telephone call, they're charging you for 15 minutes of their time. Um, basically, in my case, I don't do that. I charge by tenths of the hour, which is six minute increments. Um, but I know that attorneys do different things out there, and so that's, that's something you also have to pay attention to in the engagement letter. 